In this video, I am going to show you an in-depth look at this road beast that I built for the Tricky Bricks Fab Max collaboration. It's all coming up right here on Boone Builds. Hey there everybody, Boone here. Welcome back to Boone Builds, where my goal is to inspire creativity for fans of LEGO just like you. Today I am taking a deeper look at this crazy vehicle that I built for the Fab Max collaboration on Tricky Bricks. I call this Quaken Bacon. Quaken Bacon! Uh, this is a collaboration hosted by Flynn and Richard, and it's a mashup of Fabuland, these cute old characters that LEGO made in the 70s and 80s. They all have like farm animal heads, and it mashes that up with Mad Max. I had the pleasure of working with my friend Moto on the Fab Max Furry Road graphics. That was a lot of fun, and I decided on the very last day of the window that was allowed for contributing these models, I wanted to build something. So I threw this together. I started by building a chassis using these big yellow wheels that I had left over from an old Technic Volvo excavator type rig. I only had two Fabuland characters and they're both pigs. One with yellow and blue body and another with red and white body. Uh, so I thought that was kind of fun that they were both pigs but both looked a little bit different. So I decided to turn this thing into a giant pig. It's got a barn, maybe a little farmhouse barn type thing on it. I had one Fabuland window with the flower stickers at the bottom, so that became one side. And I just dumped out a bunch of pieces that were in the Fabuland color scheme. So mostly it's red, blue, and yellow. There's a little bit of green in there, a little bit of light gray, a little bit of white, and some black, um, but otherwise it's kind of these bold, fun, classic Lego colors. I put a bed on the truck back here, where you can see there's like a big kind of jet engine thing going on in the back. Because this thing looks like a big pig, I wanted the tail to be kind of a curly tail. So I used flex tube inside of Technic tubing, and I, I curled it up real tight, and left it wrapped up for like a day, and in the end, it just didn't end up all that curly, so it's sort of now just like this big whip tail, which I'm okay with. There's like a whip antenna up on the side here that has a red flag on it, like from the old classic castle style stuff. There's a blue flag here with the 79. I think this is from like a ski set where it has different markers going down the mountain for the skiers. And I put together a bunch of these curved arch pieces to make these big kind of wheel wells on the back of the truck there. I really like that. And if I peel back this netting a little bit, you can see this air filter housing is a very old Lego wheel with a rubber tire element on it. This was a wheel that I believe came out in like 1963 and it was made until sometime in the 70s. Um, so that, that piece is the oldest piece on this entire thing here. I'm using some old like green plastic wheels here to be sort of like snouts on the front of this vehicle. So that's intended to look like a pig's face here. So we've got like tusks like it's a boar, like a wild boar. And then I really like that I found I just had one of these yellow nets in my collection of parts here. And it fits nicely up here and, and it's a little bit narrower at the front than it is at the back. And so it makes kind of this nice rounded shape that actually kind of, you know, is, helps achieve the shape of the pig's face. And then I have the eyes there mounted on these grill guard kind of pieces. And those have Technic pins attached to the back and they're just sort of pinned into this front kind of firewall bulkhead type thing. And then I'm using these boat hull front type pieces uh, as the ears, and these pivot on ball hinges like from Mixel, we call these Mixel joints. And the ears can fly back like they're, like he's going really fast, or they can kind of sit, you know, a little bit forward like, you know, you might just imagine like a pig's ears, kind of like the figures have. The bed of the truck is attached 
studs facing down. So these little pieces, you'll recognize this as soon as I take it off. It's like this sort of grill ladder type piece. And because I've got the whole bed upside down, I can use these as something like a wood paneling side of the truck bed. Just behind the engine, there's a couple of blue propellers that I thought maybe are back there trying to cool off the engine or perhaps blowing the heat from the engine away from the barn behind it. One of the pigs is sitting on top of a Fabuland chair. I had one of these chairs on hand and another pig is standing. I wanted them each to have kind of a slightly different, you know, uh, stance in the vehicle. So one is sitting and one is standing. One is a little bit higher up than the other. And they have two slightly different styles of controls. The scooter vehicles and steering wheels that were made for Fabuland were kind of specific. So giving them something to hold on to for controls was a little bit tricky, but uh, I landed on something that I'm happy with and uh, they each have a little bit different set of controls there. It wouldn't be a Fab Max vehicle if there weren't a variety of hoses and other types of greebling here and there. There's also a ladder that can swing down and these pigs can climb on and off of their vehicle. So I'd love to hear what you think about this thing in the comments section of this video. I plan to have Flynn and Richard on very soon to kind of take a deeper dive into the collaboration as a whole. We're gonna look at some of those other Fab Max vehicles. Some are even from our friends like Moto and Jake Sadovich and Holly. And if you don't wanna miss that video, please subscribe and click that bell icon so you get a notification when that video comes out, when I go to live stream, and when I publish videos about Lego multiple times per week here on Boone Builds. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, go build something amazing.